Somebody stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Somebody stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Oh, somebody stop me. Trying to get in, I open the play with the book of the champion. Get flipped if you're trying to get in. I got the front defense, they got the end. Going for long, going first in the 10. Gotta go hard, we gotta get all. No loss for excuses, cause we gotta win. They say they sleep, must not be a fan. Get at your mans and mess up your plan. Look at your stands and look at your hand. I do what I want and you do what you can. I do it for fans, you do it for fame. EA Sports, we in the game. EA. I am the coach and the player of the game. They gon' remember the name. We want back in. Back in. Wipe my sins. Wipe my sins. They can't win.
Don't try to cheat up, excuse my demeanor. Just a glamour life is still not a player. You ain't have a nice. I'm born again, life after death. I make the sacrifice, I'm super duper fly. Juicy, keep them hypnotized. I said my name is Jew. America's smoke. Ain't no half step and see you at the crossroads. Money on my hands down. Here lies your getting paid for. Never take a loss on my hands down. Only take a So what you want? Every day I struggle with it. Only got the jummy slipping. I'm infinitely big through the genesis. Dead presidents. Drop a gem on them. On earth, these the last days. So you get money. Why you song? Have a thug. For the cream, run the game. For the money, only green is the theme. I'm a player on the late night tail. So the see this prototype. Take the tears. Reservoir dog. Check the skull. Ignorant. Can I live? Kiss the death, print protect your neck. Shame on the three boys in the Cadillac. Grave digger. Money over my hands down. Here lies your getting paid for. Never take a loss on my hands down. Only take a ticket when I'm dead. I'll be gang three times on my hands down. Been cradle to this grave. Now your favorite rapper name on my hands down. Too late, you already did. Right now I'm on the edge. So don't push me. Trouble talks tonight. You a shook one, re reason or the ledge. I'm your, I'm your what's that? I smell, smell. Let me count my, um, five, four, three, two, one, run. Hi, my name is Dirk Cobain. Like a, here I go to the next episode. Ain't a meow, this explosive beast coat. The mother, ride or die, four months, slip through four months. Survival of the fittest. That's the sound of the police. I'm in deep cause earth, skirt, skirt, lean back. Give me one more chance. They say Jesus falls and the devil wear Prada, but I'm so, so damn God can't tell me nothing. Right this on my death certificate. I gave you power, 21 questions like, the warning. Watch them flash it like paparazzi. Two words, get money. Tonight, tonight, guess who's back on my block? Rather you need in bus town. This all right coach from one of the loudest venues in the nfl there's a look at arrowhead stadium here in kansas city nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an nfl game and that was in evidence a moment ago fireworks pyrotechnics you name it this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the new orleans saints and the kansas city chiefs and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback First and ten, Bridgewater escaping the pressure right. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Bridgewater now from the 50. And complete right side to Cook. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So the same tandem connecting on back-to-back -back throws to start the game. And maybe throwing the scouting report off just a little bit. That's not exactly what they think is going to be their number one receiver, but he's producing already early in this game. 
They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. A good move on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down, Bridgewater. He's going to air one out. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. They give him a gain of 38. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme. So he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, nothing but room to run all that gets him is just a yard and now it's third down you know i don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game this guy has mobility and they want to use his legs in the game plan so there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles on the sneak it's bridgewater trying to barrel up in there but i don't think he got it call it no gain on the keeper and it's going to bring up a fourth down Oh, Brandon, that was a big play by the defense to keep him out of the end zone on third down. So there's an early decision to be made here, isn't there? I know that three is awfully tempting, but I'd pull on my big boy pants right now, and I'd go for it. So a nice opening drive on the road. You get the three points. Part of you wonders if that might hurt them later not getting into the end zone. Well, the good thing is, still first quarter, and they did come out of it with points. In a sense, they can look at it positively and say, hey, we set the pace in this one think that's how they'll go about it. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. Here we go now. now they'll run it on the toss. A gain of three, second down. We've called a lot of gains, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. To throw, it's Mahomes. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot go, right go, out of the go. gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little now. bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Mahomes going to throw. And a third down pass falls incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. I 
Throwing again, Bridgewater on second and ten. Dancing to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Third and long now after the sack. And we'll see if Bridgewater has a response. From the gun, Bridgewater. Over the middle complete. It's Lamb. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. First down, Bridgewater. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. He got 29 yards that time. Well, it's one thing to grab it with one hand, but when you make a catch of that distance, quite another. Yes, sir. I mean, that one right there, we keep talking about the high-flying antics that we're seeing from receivers nowadays. Doesn't matter what spot they start in, but when it actually does happen in the heat of battle, brings me right out of my seat. Bridgewater on first down. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Frank Clark, he's the one to get him. And that's sack number seven for him on the year. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Now Bridgewater. Flushed out right. And he fires one incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Bridgewater steps away to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. Looking downfield for Kelsey. Oh, wide open. Complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. 
Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Now Carlos Hyde in the game. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is caught by Watkins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Zing, 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 zing. <laughs> Mahomes to throw once more. And this is caught by Watkins. Touchdown, Kansas City. Sammy Watkins hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Chiefs have tied it, and they can take the lead with the extra point. Extra point splits the uprights, and they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. Butker now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, New Orleans. A big play there. 77 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. And that is how you retaliate after getting scored on one play. Big pass downfield, and you hit the end zone. Almost feels like two boxers just throwing haymakers at each other, doesn't it? One connects with a big one, the other comes right back. Okay, I'll show you. And they attacked right back on the first play of the drive and hit them big. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And out come the Chiefs now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And on the ground they go with a running back. And an alley to run. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 38 yards on the scamper there. This is a little bit like baseball here. 
strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Here we go now. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. That one, 28 yards on the ground. When big runs occur, sometimes there's a sense that things were pretty easy, and that one carried him down inside the 10. But getting into the end zone now, that won't be easy at all because you're going to face different defenses and not as much real estate to work with. Will they be able to run it, or will they have to throw it in order to try and score? And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chiefs are in for six. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now two. now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. A second down throw for Bridgewater. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lamb. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. A first down throw for Bridgewater. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Now a timeout signaled for and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. This quarterback now, 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. To the air again with Bridgewater. Drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And that is no good. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. 
And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop it. Throwing now is Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Now here's Mahomes. Try to lay one up deep. And this is caught by Watkins for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Extra points safely through. And that makes this a nine-point game. Butker now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. On second down, Bridgewater again. He's going to fire one deep. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Bridgewater. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Bridgewater now on second down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. Past the 10 to the 11-yard line. And that's where the return stops. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind, or it can take off on you. And that may have been what happened there. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 11. Now they'll run on the ball. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is. A, he's got a man complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw hey, for hey, it hey, there. Hey, hey, nice hey. effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Mahomes again here on second and ten. Caught Kelsey left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, Go first and 10. Green, 39. Green, 39. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Right back to him on first down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. And they'll go on the ground. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. This will be caught at about the five. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Here's a toss coming right. And now running right through it. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Butker now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, a fight for the football and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 
That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Mahomes now perfect go, since go, the go. second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Working from the gun. Mahomes. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First down, Mahomes. Forced out to his left. His throw incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Mahomes will try again on second down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sheldon Rankins, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Flush to his right. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides... No flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play caller. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action. They got his man complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. And that one results in 35 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call, and you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten.
Bridgewater again. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Saints get a bit closer. A big spot now for the Saints as they'll indeed go for two. Bridgewater to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This is fielded at the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Getting down to the end here, they have a two-score lead. Barely, but it's a two-score lead, so that probably makes you as a coach feel a lot more comfortable right now, doesn't it, Charles? It does, but it doesn't mean now you go out and run option or some kind of a wild double reverse or anything like that. But you do know that if anything does go haywire, you're still in control of this game. I want a double reverse, don't you? <laughs> I'm just waiting for that day where we actually see something like that in this situation. We'll, we'll see what happens here it'll wind up being a loss of two and that'll make it second and 12 first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12 here we go now green 90 green 90 throw 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 They'll run it now, out of the gun. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. to throw. Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Going to throw right side here. Complete. The completion there winds up a wash and it'll bring up fourth down. A little risky there when you roll out of that pocket right like he did. You complete the pass but you don't get anything out of it. How many times have we seen when a quarterback exits out of the pocket? Doesn't matter if they go left or right. The defense loses its leverage, right? They, there's a little chaos back there. And, and receivers come open. Great discipline on that play. They didn't let that happen and held it to no gain. Now Bridgewater. Over the middle, complete. It's Lamb. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had to had having to, to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done. And now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second. We got three, fellas, we got three. Uh -huh. 
Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14.